What is up guys, it's Random Mooning with another random normal game. This is a series where I will fill whatever role my team needs me to fill. And I didn't get that much um, communication with my team this game, so I just decided to do uh, jungle, and I decided to pick up Vi, just because she's, um, I really enjoy her as a champion, and I have her Neon Strike Vi skin, which is definitely one of my favorites. So, um... For those of you who haven't seen the videos in the past, uh, on the left hand side of my screen are all the champions that I own and all the roles that I'm going to play them in. I also have a list of all the champions that I don't own um, that I'm hoping to pick up here in the near future. And then after I've played a champion at least once, sometimes a couple times, I'll assign them a rating based on how good I think I am with them and how good they are in the meta. And the whole point of this is for me to figure out uh, what champions I want to play in Season 6, uh, try and figure out you know what's strong with what team comps, and then also just get some better knowledge about the game, and um, just kind of make myself a better player. Hopefully I can rise in rank once the season starts. So as far as um, Broods and Masteries are going, I'm running pretty much mostly attack speed, attack speed, marks, and quintessences armor seals, and then magic resist per level glyphs. And then for uh, masteries, if you go into this, I'm running 18-0-12 and I'm specializing in fervor of battle. And uh, mainly going for the attack speed, sustain, double-edged sword, and then just extra life and magic resist on the uh, resolve side. So we're about to get into the game and uh, let's see how these matchups will look. Alright, now that we're into the loading screen, let's take a look at what we got. So we've got a Renekton in top lane. I'll be playing Vi in the jungle. Uh, I believe it was an Orianna mid, and then a Jinx in Soraka bot lane. And we're going to be going up against a Vladimir top lane, a Malphite in the jungle, a uh, Cast in mid, and then a Misfortune Nautilus uh, bot lane. So, Renekton versus Vladimir. I actually don't know how this how this matchup is gonna go. Um, my guess is that Renekton probably will have the edge early, and then it'll shift over to Vladimir once his sustain gets really strong. Because um, even though Renekton does have sustain, Vladimir has more sustain. Uh, as far as the jungle is concerned, I definitely have the better early game. Malphite's got that good Wamba once he hits level 6, though. Kassin versus Orianna. Mm, that feels like a skill matchup. I feel like kassin has got more kill pressure, but Orianna's got better team fighting, so we'll see. They both took Ignite, so I'm not sure. And then as far as bot lane, Jinx Soraka versus Misfortune Nautilus. The Misfortune Nautilus lane has more kill pressure, but the Jinx Soraka lane has more sustain and more poke. So I think it's going to be a real question on whether Nautilus can land his uh, pulls. If he can't land his pull, then Jinx Soraka should win. Uh, as far as the junglers are concerned, I don't feel like I should, I should ignore top lane, because it's very hard to gank a Vladimir unless he's really pushed up. Mid lane, also very hard to gank a cast and once he hits level 6. I feel like bot lane. I might want to try and get bot lane snowballed because Jinx is a hyper carry. And uh, if I can get some kills onto her and shut down the misfortune, then uh, the rest of the game will open up. But I will be looking for ganks to the other lanes if uh, they overextend. Alright, everybody's loaded up, but we haven't gone into the game yet, so I'm not sure why yet. But as far as past the laning phase, they've got some good wombo with the Nautilus and the Malphite. They follow that up with a Misfortune ult and a Vladimir ult. That's pretty, pretty strong. 
Um, we've kind of got a, a pretty good ball delivery system in both me and Renekton. And then Soraka is just great with her heals. So I think it's going to be a question of who can keep their AD carry alive the longest uh, in these team fights. Alright, starting off, I'm going to go Machete. Um, because I did do it, I did do a lot of attack speed. I'm gonna start blue side. See if I can get a full clear. So I'm hiding in this bush because I don't want the enemy team to know what side I start on, especially since. Um, Vi typically starts on red side, so they're gonna. Th if they don't see me, they're gonna default to thinking that I started red side. Sometimes you gotta make a door. I don't know why this rock is way down here. Like, if you're a support and your jungler is starting on your side, you want to be pushed up here so they can't invade and pop a ward here or pop a ward here. Because that, you know, gives them some very useful information about the jungle start. Because if you start on a certain side, then you're going to typically do a certain jungle route, and through the power of deduction, you can figure out, you know, where the jungler is going to be, and plan accordingly with your wards and things like that. So you want to try and deny as much vision and knowledge as possible. The rock says don't pot because she's gonna pot me. Good job. Nicely done. So I'm doing a little bit of kiting, but it's not that useful with the Vi, because uh, she's primarily attack speed based. Plan. I don't need a plan. Mainly, I'm kiting them just to line them up for my uh, for my excessive force. So I think I'm going to be able to do a full jungle clear based off of based off of how I'm doing right now and what my health is at. I should be able to do a full jungle clear, and I'm not too worried about the Malphite um, invading me. So it looks like looking at the lanes, Renekton is pushed up pretty far. Oops. Mess that up. But he's got the ward up, so I think he'll be alright. So I'm gonna smite red. Just so I have enough health to heal, or to get the last camp. And it looks like all three of my lanes are pushed up, so I don't really have anywhere where I can um, gank. So I'm not going to try and force anything. Alright, so I'm going to back. I absolutely love this back animation. I think it's one of the best backing animations in the game. And I'm going to go for Stalkers. And I don't have enough to upgrade, but I can at least grab a pink horde. So every lane is pushed up. There's not much I can do except ward and anticipate where um, the Malphite is going to attack. And my guess is that he's probably going to go for mid. Because mid is really low mana right now. So 
So I'm gonna try to get some vision down. My mid laner. Yep, there is there she is. Good job on uh surviving that. Actually probably the bad call for me to try and get that scuttle crab. Because we already got vision up. Ah, oh, but with the Malphite there, I can actually invade him. So anytime you see like a jungler trying to hold, um, you can start invading. And actually, you need to invade, or he will start getting a uh, experience advantage on you. So he's starting to come down. I'm doing this my way. There's not us. That was some good damage. Oh, I didn't get the last hit. And the Malphite's there. Malfoot, Malfot, no, hit spacebar. Alright, so the Cassian's moving in. He's got level 6. She knows I'm there, so she's playing kind of aggressive. He might have figured it out. He's playing very uh, cautiously. I'm waiting for him to go in on her because he's a caster. Why wouldn't he go in? On her? I probably didn't need to burn my flash there. That was probably um, bad. Um, So, what I just told Ori was, hey, you can clear the lane, then back and heal up, and I'll give you blue. So that's why I went up to clear raptors, and I'm going to come here, I'm going to clear um, wolves. And then I should have be right on time to clear out blue for her. So whenever you transfer blue over, you at least want to kill the small guys, so you can at least get some experience for it. Alright, so we gave her blue. That's going to really help her because she's already snowballing the lane. Oh uh, shit. Whoops, Grom's too far away from his home. Yep, so I'm going to go towards Warriors, and uh, I need boots. And... Crap, don't have enough Harness Potion, so I definitely misplayed that a little bit. 
I feel like the boots are going to be more important in the long run. Uh, as far as lanes going, top lane is even. <sighs> Mid lane is winning, obviously. Bot lane, we're losing very slightly. So it looks like... Uh, bot lane is, or mid lane is completely snowballing. So the Malphite wants to go in on her. Got her. Ah, uh, what was that red buff? Uh -huh. Yeah, so she accidentally shielded me instead of herself. It happens. Yeah, it looks like um, Renekton's starting to have a little bit of trouble with this Vladimir. Oh, he said he's gonna go in on him. Okay. Got him. Oh, he wants me to do it? Okay, I'll do it. I'll do it with you. Whoops. You probably take down this tower. Yeah, especially since the Vladimir doesn't have TP. Yep. Nicely done. I don't know why the Vladimir TP'd into that. Why he thought he could um, win a 2v1 like that. But. I'll I'll take the gold. That's definitely worth. Ah oh, shit. Yeah, she's dead. Unfortunately. All right. So this team has um a lot of AP damage. You're looking at Vladimir, Cassidy, Malphite, Nautilus. They've all got a lot of AP damage. So I'm gonna be getting primarily magic resist with a little bit of armor to deal with the misfortune. So I wish that um, this bot lane wouldn't be pushed up so far all the time. I'm gonna try to do a lane gank for them. Hopefully they didn't see me. Nicely done. Probably did not need to um, flash for that, but I decided to do it anyway. So if you find that your your lanes are pushed up a lot, um, one thing that you can do is you can um, try and do a lane gank, and what that means is you go through the lane brush to try and gank for your allies. Shit, I gotta help them. a 
speed down. All right, no flash on the uh I'm doing this my way. On the Cassidan, Malphite is bot lane right now. Good job, good job on them. Nicely done, nicely done. Up, oh, here's the Cassidan. Well done, well done. So you can see there, so the reason why we did so well in that team fight is the Soraka was doing fantastic heals, and as we got low on health, we would retreat um, every single time. So there wasn't much that they could do to. Um, Stop us, pretty much. Uh, no smite. Probably wants to back out. Alright, so now that I got that, I'm gonna go towards Trinity Force. I'm my own backup. Malphite says Kasten's AFK. There's, <laughs> there's no reason to ever tell the other team that one of you guys is AFK. Because all that's going to pretty much tell me is, oh, that's a free win as long as I don't, you know, as long as nobody rages at each other, it's, you know, a free win for us. So. Yeah. Uh, Srock makes a good point. You'll never be good if all you do is rage quit on your team. Uh, excuse me. It was like 40 degrees today, but um, I had decided that I wanted to barbecue. Oh, he <laughs> pooled right at the right moment. That was pretty awesome. Yeah, it was about 40 degrees out, but I was really craving barbecue, so I barbecued anyway. Oh shit, right into the Nautilus. Stay alive with the Straka. Let me just retreat. Then we're fine. So I need to start using my health pot so I can start gaining put some health back. We probably want to start going towards this tower.
Yeah, we want to back out here. So we can back out. We can steal their jungle at least. Oops, there's the pink. Yeah, we're overstaying mid lane a little bit too much. So, a lot of times people will overstay and they get kind of cocky. They're like, oh, it's a 4v5. We can win this. Thankfully, it is a 4v5, so... There's a surrender. Oh well. Alright, that was a pretty good game. Cassid in did kind of read quit a little bit. I think that's the second time we've had a Cassid in go AFK in the game. Um, yeah, kind of rage quit, went 0 and 5. We wound up going 5 0 8. Pretty dang good. Yeah, people are pretty pissed off. Yeah, I understand. You know, that was definitely a rage quit. It wasn't a um, a DC or something like that. Because he actually voted. If you look at the surrender vote, it was 5-0. to zero. So he was still present. He just elected to just stay in base. So that's definitely um, not okay. So as far as damage dealt to champions and damage taken, uh, I was second highest. That Oriana did a really damn good job, and I was also second highest on damage taken. So definitely did my job as a jungler. I thought I did pretty well. Um, but if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please like it. If you like my channel, please subscribe. If there are things that you want me to do differently or the things that you thought I did really well, let me know with a comment. Or if there is a particular champion on this list that you want me to play, leave a comment. I will always respond back to it. This is Randomonium, signing off.